Hello and welcome back to the third instalment on solving differential equations. Once again, I thoroughly suggest going back and watching the first two episodes before watching this one. So in the last episode, we solved this exact equation, which is a second order linear differential equation in the homogeneous form. And we found the general solution to be y equals a times e to the 3x plus b times e to the 2x, where a and b are constants. Now we're going to look at the inhomogeneous case, where, for example, we haven't got zero on the right hand side, say a function of x, for example, sine 2x. We solve this by something called the complementary function and particular integral method. It involves two parts, so we'll start on the complementary function part. For this, we just set the right hand side to zero to make it a homogeneous case. And then we solve as we did before, using the auxiliary equation method. So for this example, we actually solved this in the last video, so we can just bring up our answer from the last time. Let's call this, say, ycf for complementary function. Now comes the slightly more complicated particular integral part, for which we just need to find one single solution to our differential equation. To do this, we guess the form of the solution, and then we try and solve for this. So let's look at the most general cases of solutions we might want to try. Firstly, let's say our differential equation equals a polynomial to degree n. Then we'll want to try the same degree of polynomial, but with different constants in front. Now for the next solution we might want to try, say on the right hand side we have a trig function or a hyperbolic function, for example, sine alpha x, where alpha is just a constant. Then we're going to want to try the trig or hyperbolic function in its most general form. So as we're differentiating, we need to include both sine and cosine and then we'll put constants in front to give some generality to our solution. Now for the final form we might want to try. So say on the right hand side we have an exponential e to the alpha x. Then what we're going to try is a constant multiplied by e to the alpha x again, just because when you differentiate e to the alpha x, all you're going to get is alpha e to the alpha x. Say we had a combination of these forms, what we would do is we would try a solution where we sum each of the individual forms. Going back to our equation, we see on the right hand side we've got a trig function. Therefore, we're going to try a solution of this form, just replacing alpha with 2, and we'll change the names of our constants. As we're going to try and substitute this solution in, we need to take its first and second derivative, so let's do that. After we've done this, we're going to substitute this in, and then solve some simultaneous equations where we look at the coefficients. For example, we know that we're going to have 1 sine, but 0 cosines, so we can solve for a and b where we find a to be 1 over 52 and b to be 5 over 52. Now if we bring back our original solution that we were trying, we can substitute these values of a and b back into this. Then as we did before, as we now have two solutions for y, ypi and ycf, to find the general solution of y, we need to add these two together. Therefore we find our general solution to be y equals 1 over 52 sine 2x plus 5 over 52 cos 2x plus a e to the 3x plus b e to the 2x. To find the constants a and b that were left behind by the complementary function, we would need some initial conditions, which we'll look at in a later video. So I look forward to you joining me then, so please consider subscribing and like the video if you enjoyed. Thanks.